Hey friends, my name is C and you're watching you, Mr. Easy. And welcome to a new video for IGCSE at Math and today, we have questions for the applications of integration or basically finding areas under curves or lines. And these questions are from this website right here, so I'll link it in the description for you to check it out. And before you get into it, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell so you never miss any future videos. And we'll get started with the first question. Find the area enclosed by the given curve, the x-axis, and the given coordinates, and the curve is y equals x squared plus 3x, from x equals 1 to x equals 3. So since we're finding area between the curve and the x-axis, that means the equation has to be in the form of y equals something, and it already is in that form, so we can just leave it there. So y equals x squared plus 3x, we don't have to plot it out, but if we can, we can just plot it out by doing so, because we know that there's a root in x equals 0, and there's a root where if we factorize it would be x plus 3. That means there's also a root in x equals 3. So x equals minus 3. That means if we plot it out, it'll be like this. And the area between the area between x equals 1 and x equals 3, like this, will be like this. So this will be the area between the curve. Right? So then we can now integrate it to find the area. So the area is equal to the integral of the curve, which is y equals x squared plus 3x, but we just focus on the x part. So it'll be x squared, oops, sorry. So the integral of x squared plus 3x dx with respect to x from the limits from 1 to 3. So we can now simply just um, integrate this first. So integrating 1, uh, sorry, integrating x squared will get us 1 over 3x cubed. Like so, right? And then the second one, 3x will be 3 over 2x squared. 3 over 2x squared. And then the square bracket close, so we can just put the limit 1, 3. So now we can basically just evaluate the, fun um, the, the function or like the expression, expression. So the first part will be 1 over 3 times by 3 to the power of 3 plus 3 over 2, 3 squared. Close bracket, because what I'm, actually, what I'm basically doing is that for the first half, I input x, I substitute x by 3 because it's 3 in this case, the upper limit. And for the second half, it'll be 1 over 3, where x is equal to 1 now. So it'll be 1 cubed plus 3 over 2, 1 squared. And we can now basically just evaluate it by, by tapping into our calculator. So 1 over 3 times by 3 cubed plus 3 over 2 times by 3 squared minus 1 over 3 times by 1 cubed plus 3 over 2 times by 1 squared, or basically just 3 over 2. That will get us an answer of 62 over 3. 62 over 3. Since there's no unit, we can just put it as unit square. And like so. In question 2, find the area enclosed by the given curve, the x-axis and the given coordinates of, and the curve is this, from x equals minus 2 to x equals 3. So to plot the graph out, it'll be, it'll look something like this. I'm sorry, it'll look something like this where this is 2, and this is minus 2, and it's shifted down by uh, minus 4, like so. So we have to find a curve from y is from x equals 2, sorry, x equals minus 2 to x equals 3. So we can notice that if we were to split this up into two, we have to split this up into two parts. Because the first half is basically this one right here, right? But it's basically from x equals two, uh, minus 2 to x equals 2. But the second half is where you have to go from x equals 2 to x equals 3, because the limit here is 3. So if we, if we were to extend this, it would be like 3 here. So the curve here, you have to find separately, and it's not just here because I just randomly drew it. So we have to split into two parts. So the first part, the area, is equal to the integral of x squared minus 4 dx from, um, from minus 2 to 2. And we can just make this modulus so that it becomes a positive plus the integral of x squared minus 4 from x equals 2 to x equals 3 and don't forget the dx and we can now basically just evaluate this function right here so it will be the first half will be 1 over 3x cubed minus 4x and 2 to minus, uh, minus 2 to 2 plus the same thing 1 over 3x cubed minus 4x from 2 to 3 and we can now just basically simplify the whole thing. And I'm not going to write it out, I'll just type it into my calculator. So the first half will be 1 over 3 times by 2 cubed minus 4, 2 minus 1 over 3 
times by minus 3 cubed minus, time, uh, minus 4 times minus 2. So this will be minus a uh, modulus. We minus 32 over 3 plus the second half would be my, 1 over 3 times um, 2, uh, sorry, 3 cubed minus 4 times 3 minus 1 over 3 times uh, times by 2 and minus 4 times 2 that will get us an answer of 7 over 3 and since we know that areas can be negative that means we have to, this modular sign to make it positive therefore it will be 33 over, sorry, 32 over 3 plus 7 over 3 and we're kind of basically simplifying it by just doing some basic addition which is 32 over 3 plus 7 over 3 which is 39 over 3 which can be nicely simplified to 13 units square and that's the answer now we have question 3 find the area enclosed by the given curve the x-axis and the given coordinates right here so we can now basically just uh, we'll try to factorize it to see if it um, if there's only one root or like two roots or so on. So if you were to factorize it, it'll be x times one minus x. That means there will be a root at x equals zero and x equals one. That means that from x equals one to x equals two, we have to consider separately, right? So we have two parts here, x equals zero to x equals one, and x equals one to x equals two, because it means that the curve is like a like a negative curve, and then the x equals one to x equals two is in another region than x equals zero to x equals one. So the area will be equal to the integral of x minus x squared dx from x equals 0 to x equals 1 plus the integral of x minus x squared dx from x equals 1 to x equals 2. And then we can now just basically sim um, integrate it by doing 1 over 2. Sorry, it will be 1 over 2 x squared minus 1 over 3 x cubed from 0 to 1 plus um, we can just put a modulus to everything just in case plus 1 over 2 x cubed sorry x squared minus 1 over 3 x cubed from 1 to 2 we can now basically just simplify the whole thing so the first part would be 1 over 2 times by 1 squared minus 1 over 3 times by 1 squared and it will be 1 over 6 because we can just ignore the 0 because zero uh, something times 0 will be 0 and then the second half would be, let me just try it out, it would be 1 over 2, 1 over 2 times by 2 squared minus 1 over 3 times by 2 cubed minus 1 over 2 times by 1 squared minus 1 over 3 times by 1 cubed. And that gets you minus 5 over 6. But because area can be negative, we have to make it positive, so it's just 1 over 6 plus 5 over 6 which is 6 over 6, and if you were to simplify this, of course, it will just be 1 unit square. So, and then question 4, find an area contained by the line y equals x and the curve y equals x square with no given coordinate, so I'll just give it right now. But let's just plot the graph, it'll be like something like this, right? So I'll just give it be between the x-axis, x-axis, and x equals 1 and x equals 2. So what we have to do is that we have to minus one curve from the other. So we have to minus the, the top curve and the bottom curve. But since we don't really know or like we can't confirm that what's on the top or what's in the bottom, we can just put a modular sign. So the area is equal to the first curve minus, minus the second curve. And for simplicity's sake, I'll just put x squared minus x. Like this curve minus this curve dx from x equals 1 to x equals 2. And we can now basically just evaluate this function. It would be 1 over 3 x cubed minus 1 over 2 x squared from 2, from 1 to 2, the other way around, right? the, same, the same thing. And we can now basically just simplify the whole thing. It would be 1 over 3 times by 2 cubed, oops, times by 2 cubed minus 1 over 2, 2 squared, oops, sorry. So the first part will be, it will be 2 over 3 minus the second value, which is when s is equal to 1. So 1 over 3 times 1 cubed minus 1 over 2 times 1 squared is just minus 1 over 6, like so. And then just put it modulus. So if you were to evaluate it, it would be 2 over 3 
minus minus 1 over 6 or 2 over 3 plus 1 over 6 and that gets you 5 over 6 unit square. 5 over 6 unit square. Like so. And then here's the final question. Find the area contained between the two curves, this and this right here. Let's say it's from the x-axis, x-axis, and x equals 1, and x equals 2 because that's the simplest. So what we can do is that we can basically just minus one curve from the other. So this minus this, so it will be the integral, sorry, the area equals the integral of x plus x squared minus 3x plus x squared, because that's the second curve, dx from 1 to 2. So then basically just simplify the integral, it will be um, it will be 2x squared minus 2x dx, and we can basically just simplify it. So it will be 2 over 3x cubed minus x squared from 2 to 1 or the other way around. And we can basically just simplify it by doing 2 over 3 times 2 cubed times 2 cubed minus 2 squared. So the first value will be 4 over 3 minus 1 x equals 1. 2 over 3 times 1 cubed minus 1 squared will be minus minus 1 over 3. And if you were to simplify this, you'll get an answer of 5 over 3 unit square. And that's the final answer. And this is for this question's video for IGCC and Master today. We look into the applications of integration in finding curves and the graphs. And I hope you'll find it useful and helpful. And if you did, please leave a like and subscribe and ring the notification bell so that you don't any future videos. And if you have any comments or constructive feedback about my channel or my YouTube or Instagram, you can leave it in the comment section and I'll reply to them. And check out my social media in the description, for example, LinkedIn or YouTube or Instagram. And if you need any learning resources or any teaching resources, you can check out my website in the description or you can type it out in your browser at www.yemiseasy.com. And I hope you'll find it useful and helpful and I'll see you on the next video, which will be rules and examples for kinematics or basically mechanics. But until then, stay safe and... Happy learning.